pregnancies, a single embryo develops in the uterus. But sometimes there can be twins, which means that two embryos develop together. Most twins are fraternal, or dizygotic twins, meaning they originate from two separate eggs that are fertilized individually, whereas only a minority are identical, or monozygotic twins, which come from a single zygote that quickly splits into two separate groups of cells. Fraternal twins are from two separate eggs that are fertilized by different sperms, so they have completely separate genetic makeups. They don't look any more or less alike than regular siblings, although the resemblance can still be very close. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, for example, are fraternal twins, not identical twins. Fraternal twinning happens at a rate of about 10 per 1,000 births worldwide. Most of the time, fraternal twinning happens when the ovaries release two eggs simultaneously, which is called hyperovulation, instead of releasing one egg at a time. Research suggests that some mothers of fraternal twins might produce an overabundance of a hormone called follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, which stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles. Mothers of fraternal twins tend to be taller and heavier on average, with shorter, more frequent menstrual cycles, all of which are characteristic of having high levels of follicle-stimulating hormone. Because follicle-stimulating hormone levels gradually rise with age, women become increasingly likely to give birth to fraternal twins once they're 35 years or older. And this explains why mothers who've given birth to fraternal twins once are more likely to do it again. The likelihood of having fraternal twins resulting from hyperovulation is thought to be genetically linked, but no specific gene has been identified yet. Identical twins are even less common than fraternal twins, happening at a rate of about 4 per 1,000 births worldwide. Identical twins come from a single zygote splitting to form two separate embryos with identical genetic material. The split can happen at any time during the first 13 days of development, and how and when the division happens affects how the identical twins share space and resources in the uterus. Because identical twins have identical DNA, they share a lot of physical traits that have a strong genetic basis, like sex, hair and eye color, blood type, and other physical features. In fact, subtle differences between identical twin babies actually shows how the environment, even the environment of the uterus, can also affect development. Identical twins can be categorized based on how they share space and resources in the womb. During normal development, one embryo grows inside a fluid-filled bubble, called the amniotic sac, and receives nutrients and gases from the mother via the umbilical cord and placenta. With twins, two embryos arise, but this doesn't necessarily mean that each gets its own individual ticket to the placenta buffet, or a separate amniotic sac to hang out in. Twins' access to maternal real estate depends on when exactly the split happens to turn one embryo into two. Early in development, there's a single ball of cells called a blastocyst. This develops an inner layer called the embryoblast, and an outer layer called the trophoblast. Seven or eight days following fertilization, the trophoblast cells on the outside differentiate into two cell layers, the cytotrophoblast and the syncytiotrophoblast. Because these cell layers are responsible for establishing the fetal part of the placenta, the moment the embryo blast divides into two affects how the cytotrophoblast and the syncytiotrophoblast develop to accommodate the pair of embryos. If the split happens within two or three days following fertilization, the twins are known as dichorionic diamniotic, meaning they develop completely separately from each other, receiving nutrients from separate placentas and swimming around in their own amniotic sacs. If the embryo divides between three and eight days following fertilization, the twins are monochorionic diamniotic, which means the trophoblast is already differentiated, so they'll share a single placenta, but the umbilical cords will feed into two different amniotic sacs. If the embryo splits between 8 and 13 days after fertilization, the twins are monochorionic monoamniotic, meaning they share an especially close bond, growing together in the same amniotic sac and receiving nutrients from the same placenta. Alright, as a quick recap, fraternal twins are the product of two separate eggs being released at the same time during ovulation, which are fertilized by two different sperm. 
Identical twins start out as a single zygote that's split into two separate embryos at some point during the first 13 days of development. There can be mono-mono twins that share a placenta and an amniotic sac, mono-di twins that share a placenta but develop in separate amniotic sacs, or di-di twins which develop their own placentas and amniotic sacs.